interactions with the animal scientists. I wasn't that dedicated to academia. Internship in Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Yahoo. This is Jesse Lee. I'm an associate professor at Penn State University. Uh, I got my PhD degree from computer science uh, from U University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Uh, I started my um, professor job um, six years back. Uh, so my research area is data mining, uh, mostly on spatial temporal data with applications on like urban computing, transportation, uh, environment, uh, or crime. So anything that's related to the data on the space. Maybe I'll start back when I was a <clears throat> PhD student at EIUC. Uh, I started doing the spatial temporal data when um, my advisor got a project working on uh, animal movement. Uh, so actually at that time, I was working on um, mining patterns from the animal traces. Um, it was a very interesting and interdisciplinary research project. Uh, I got very interested in this kind of applied research uh, because I have very uh, frequent interactions with the animal scientists. So I basically need to ask a lot like what they're interested in and how can we computer science, uh, we computer scientists provide the tools for them to better discover the patterns. Uh, then later when I started my own career as a faculty, uh, so I continue this line. I work with, for example, criminologists. Uh, we analyze the uh, crime data. Uh, I work with uh, people in environmental science. We analyze the, uh, like the water quality data. Uh, so currently, I have very close collaboration with the transportation people, or be, be even more precise with the traffic police. So actually, we have access to a lot of traffic data, and we're using that data to better optimize the traffic signals in the city. I wasn't that dedicated to academia from the very beginning. So the first time uh, I started my graduate school, I don't think it's mostly because I'm that interested in uh, research. It's just, uh, I think the biggest reason is I want to come to U.S. And that is, seems like the most straightforward way to come to U.S. and experience a different culture. And I wasn't that dedicated to research at all because uh, we probably all know publishing papers is really difficult. So I kind of um, uh, always think about maybe this is not the right path for me to uh, continue in academia. Uh, that's why I did a lot of internship when I was um, when I was a student, uh, because I want to try whether uh, I like industry better uh, than the academia. Uh, so I did an internship in Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Yahoo, so any company you can name it. So I did a lot of internships. Now I feel like I just like academia better. Uh, at the time when I was graduating, I wasn't even decided to, I, I, I haven't decided whether I want a faculty job or maybe a research lab job, but I decided to go forward for the, uh, to give a try to a faculty job because uh, I just think it's more challenging. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't know how to do, uh, like how to advise students, how to teach undergraduate classes, and how to like write grant proposals. There just seems to be a lot of challenges ahead of me compared with like uh, maybe a researcher or maybe a, a programmer in a company. Uh, seems like uh, most of the skill set I already get. So I'm more interested in, um, in something that I don't know how to do. So that's why I chose the academic job. And so far I think I uh, enjoyed it a lot because uh, one thing I enjoy the most is the flexibility in this kind of job. Uh, basically you you don't have a boss and you can do uh, whatever you are interested in and your time is also very flexible. Uh, so yeah, I think the flexibility and also the continuous challenges in the work, uh, that's the part I like the most. I recently read a, read a blog um, from a professor at UC Berkeley, and he was describing three categories of data analytics, uh, from descriptive uh, analytics to predictive analytics to prescriptive analytics. So basically, uh, he thinks the 
uh, easiest one is called descriptive analytics. That is basically we have the data and we discover some patterns from it. Uh, then the next level is predictive analytics. So basically is to predict what will happen. Uh, the last one, prescriptive or I forgot the term. <laughs> so, but anyway, the last one um, that is about not just making a prediction, but actually have some policy um, that will have the impact. And we learn from the uh, like the loop from the feedback. So I personally think um, a very promising direction is actually we should close the loop. Uh, basically, uh, no matter what the patterns or what the predictions we have, we should try to have some impact in the real world and see how the feedback um, is to better improve the method. So for example, as I just said, uh, the project I'm working on now is using uh, traffic data to better <coughs> optimize the traffic signal. And what is the most interesting thing is uh, we are not just like develop a method and then deploy it in the system. So we actually have a loop system. So basically, uh, uh, we can control traffic signal and we see whether that makes the traffic better or worse and we learn from that feedback and better improve the method. So I personally think this kind of feedback is very important. Uh, so no matter what kind of data or applications you are dealing with, um, I think that probably will be the trend uh, for the future in data science.